Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hey guys, let's get started. Let's get started. I hope you are all doing well. Get a little bit of light here. Okay, you're starting off with a love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Very nice, very, very nice. You can also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I do daily collective love readings Monday through Friday. Okay, heartbroken, someone feeling deeply hurt, sad, in separation, a breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, and girl, the snake showing up in the reverse. Okay, okay, what does this say? Okay, being charmed to use naval boundaries. Okay. All right, let's get into this. So it looks like feeling a strong energy here um, of some type of a relationship with someone. Someone might have a tattoo or they might be born in the year of the snake. It looks like someone is feeling kind of lost um, without you. I feel um, oh okay so they're just saying there might have been somebody who okay <laughs> it looks like someone that all right so a couple of messages so now they're saying either someone that you had a breakup with they went with someone else and they found out that that person that they went with was like a snake okay did them dirty um or you connect with someone and you or you meet someone in october and you find out that the, the last person that they connected with was like not a good not not didn't have good intentions towards them okay but i will tell you there's a love call happening this this um this month someone's definitely there's a message or a call coming through definitely a heartbroken someone feeling sad feeling lost grieving lonely missing you that kind of energy all right let's take a look you know i feel like doing a celtic cross so i'm gonna get into okay there's a past situation here or a past You connected in the past with someone from your past okay that's what i feel like so for me hmm interesting hold on a second why do i have what is this hold on a second i'm getting these really strange like okay just hold on bear with me okay uh, let me see how let me try to articulate this and get my words right A pat you connected in the past with a past life lover that's what that's what they're saying that person from your past was a past life love in other words that so I guess you're not with them right now I guess that's the, the message but someone from your past was a past life lover okay like you knew them from another past life you knew them from another life you too had a love you had a relationship in a former life okay show me what's happening presently here this is what i feel uh, very strongly that's a very strong soulmate kind of connection and this is like keeps repeating this relationship so in this in this lifetime right now you have connected with them 
as well. But you've also connected with them in a past life, related, a past life as well. So in this lifetime, also you recently or in, sometime in the past, you've connected with them. Okay. So your past life lovers, I hope it doesn't sound confusing, but your past life person reconnected with you in the past, okay? But they were new when they came in. <laughs> what? What? What is House of Virgo talking about? Okay, you, I hope you understand. If you don't understand, can someone clear it up for someone here? I think that's making sense. I hope that's making sense. Okay, show me the present energy, please, Spirit. Let's clear this. Let's get a little clarity in here for Virgo, please. Oh, my goodness. There's the star. Okay. There's healing. There is healing for sure. Aquarius energy. Oh, my gosh. The benefit and the challenge. The Two of Cups. I definitely feel um, you and this person, maybe it's an Aquarius for some of you. I definitely feel like you and your person, you and this person are going to be, whoever your past life, whoever your past life lover is, your soulmate, could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, you and this person it it's a challenge to have some kind of healing in this relationship okay definitely but it's a benefit to come together to have that healing look at this caduceus right here this is kind of like friends and lovers okay and even with the six of cups this is um it does give me like some kind of friendship vibe it does give me innocence childhood um kindness sincerity I don't know what happened something caused some kind of a split there might have been an interference of some sort it's a real challenge to overcome to try to get some kind of healing to try to forgive this is what i feel try to forgive something here it's difficult definitely and the star gives me a um It's a desire for hope and renewal. Yes, definitely. Hope springs eternal. They just said hope springs eternal. It's hard for you guys to get on the same page. But it's possible. And it would be good if you guys can come together and try to have some kind of understanding is what spirit's saying if you can have some kind of understanding between the two of you that's that's where the healing comes in if there can be this meeting of the minds where both of you kind of understand i do feel uh whom who, whomever your past lover is this person is completely distraught they're definitely grieving some kind of loss and i feel like a phone call or some kind of message of love that they initiate toward you has a lot to do with them feeling lost without you it's it almost feels sometimes when i look at this card even it does kind of look like they're twins because they're very similar like mirroring each other each other's energy i do feel like um you know, even for some of you, I will give the caveat that this could be a lost twin sibling. Um, some of you might even be finding out or reconnecting with a lost sibling if there was like adoption, like adopted kids um, or a separation of children from a long time ago. Um, coming together or trying to find each other there's a, there's definitely doesn't it doesn't have to be a past romantic love relationship but I do feel like um, some of you it's, it's a challenge to, to connect but there's this underlying feeling of oh my printer is like going off on its own what's going on <laughs> there's this it's like a phantom feeling, like a phantom loss. 
You know how sometimes you get that out of nowhere, that sinking feeling and you can't really put your finger on it? Like you feel some kind of a loss, but you don't know where it's coming from. I feel like you're picking up the energy from somewhere else, from another person. You guys have some kind of... Look at this. Look at the one in the yellow where there's this reaching out and touching feeling of the energy. I feel like their hands are touching behind that cup. It's an energetic attachment between you and whomever this other person is. There's a, there's a feeling of loss. There's a grieving of this loss. And there's this desire to stay connected. This, um, this girl with the snake. This was kind of like, um, this feels like a villain energy. Something or someone interrupted this energy person place or thing and that in reverse is telling me that that interruption is no longer present whatever it might be it's moved on it's out of the picture it's no longer present the snake is gone okay the snake is out of the picture so that this this connection can be reestablished there's hope and healing Okay, let's see what's under this, what's under this reading, what's under what's driving this. Wow, look at that, waiting, waiting for return, waiting for a return. This gives me this um, sense of being kind of like shipwrecked on an island and sending out smoke signals. Someone is sending out smoke signals to you, trying to get your, trying to find you or get your attention. SOS, smoke signals. That love call, those messages coming through. Um, trying to reconnect yes yes so what does that mean like here on earth on planet earth um you're gonna get signs you're gonna hear from this past life person this this who whom you are connected to you're gonna get signs you're gonna get phone calls you're gonna get messages you're gonna see signs all kinds of different signs you start seeing them now that this per like going you know you might already have been seeing them that this person is trying to connect with you in some way okay whether that's in the 5d or you know or just here and every day like every day elect electrical signals uh, all kinds of things uh, little little symbols and objects and and are just everyday types of communication okay i feel like I, I, it feels like a, a, a it's like a waiting a waiting for the ship to come in you know look at this I, and they're giving me this energy here this is kind of like the SOS signals you know <clears throat> they're showing me that image of like um, you know when the Titanic was sinking and we they panned out and they were sending off those bursts of light those SOS uh, what are they called? Those, those using those guns and sending those, sending those like, I forget what they're called. They're like those firework signals up in the sky. Um, can't think of them. <laughs> I can't think of what they were called. You guys know the, the word. You know, look at all those those lights, those bursts. Like you can see them up in the sky. You know. I mean, I feel like you just you got to be open. You got to look up to see someone is trying to get a hold of you this person this person is trying to get a hold of you virgo trying to connect with you you might not even be noticing it you might not be you might not be seeing it because you're looking down you're looking down you might be missing it so open up look up look up at the sky look up look all around you so you can see Someone's trying to get a hold of you. Yeah, that's that's a that's a message that they're giving me here with this. Let me see. And when you look up, 
When you look up, Virgo, what do you see? What does Virgo see when Virgo looks up? Oh, wow. Phew, the fool. You're free. You're free. <laughs> you see this fool sending those flares, <laughs> trying to get your attention. No, I'm kidding. You're free. Your freedom. What does that mean, Virgo? I mean, I don't know who this person is. I don't. Maybe this will make sense. When it doesn't make sense to me, this message that I'm giving, it's because it's it's it, it it's specifically pertaining to you and i don't know your story and that's another aquarius card two major arcana and aquarius you know this is all about the the beginning here and freedom and i i feel like what they're trying to say here is that with this snake out of the picture whatever this snake energy is. Now, there's freedom here. There's no more oppression with this connection. Now we're free to love. Now we're free to explore. And now we're free to come together. So what is blocking being able to come together is possibly you're not seeing the signs. Look, and so the message is all you just have to look up and be open to see. Look, Knight of Cups. So this love is coming toward you from this person. You're not seeing it. Um, you're looking at the details. You're, you know, the devil's in the details, and that's what's drawing you away from this. You're looking at, too busy looking at the details instead of looking up and seeing the whole galaxy, seeing the whole big picture. Of, of this past life connection, right? Of this, the entirety of this whole relationship, not just the little bits and pieces of it, okay? I know for some of you, maybe it won't make any sense. I don't know where this is coming from. I don't think I've ever given any kind of a reading like this before, honestly. Um, it feels more ethereal, than I think I've ever given and maybe because of the Aquarius energy that's showing up here I mean the, the Aquarius energy is way off in like a whole other galaxy to be honest with you and I feel like that's where this is coming from there's it's almost like UFO signals or pulse pulsar radar type energies um, from a distance that I'm feeling like a lot of distance like this this person is at some kind of distance to you and is trying to reach you with uh, this knight of cups energy it's it's like a romantic energy for some of you it's 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 like i'm trying to let you know i'm hearing i'm trying to let you know i miss you i'm, I'm trying to connect with you i i love you i'm I, i'm feeling the loss without you this snake energy this evil this villain this they're giving me this crazy word interlocutor inter interlocutor is that i can't hear it this in is that the word interlocutor i think that's what they're saying i'm not sure what that means interlocutor this provocateur provocateur i don't know the word um some some entity person place thing entity energy came in and tore something apart it's and it's trying to come back together because it was always meant to be together yeah look at you right you're you're trapped you're trapped you're stuck but this is a self-imposed prisoner okay you're trapped by your own thoughts these are thoughts that you are
choosing to allow yourself to be trapped by, okay? Because her feet are free to walk out. And she really just has toilet paper wrapped around her. It's, this is easily breakable. And the swords do not completely go around her. There's an opening here. So she can walk away from this, okay? Um, but th this is restriction. So you might be kind of trapping yourself. Um, you might have been conditioned to believe something. And somewhere along the line, accepted that belief as being true. But there's a tiny, teeny little seed of doubt. This is what this means for me, this Eight of Swords. That something in the very back of your head is not completely convinced. You were never completely convinced. Some little seed in the back of your head told you that what you were told or what you heard wasn't completely true. And I feel like what you were told or what you heard by this sneaky, evil type of energy was not completely true. And that's gone. And that's why I said the fool here is freedom. All you have to do is look away. <laughs> look up. To free yourself from this situation. From this. To get away from this. To be at one with this person again. Does that make sense? It sounds very general. I know it does. I can't get into specifics. They're not allowing me. They're trying to tell you that it, it, it's, a, it's... I guess it sounds very simple the way I'm saying it. But there is someone here that is waiting. They're trying to uh, send... Yeah, okay, I'm just repeating myself. They're sending out these smoke signals waiting for your return. They're trying to get a hold of you. They're looking for you. They're standing there looking for you. They're, they're holding the two wands. They have the two wands of partnership. And the one wand of a new beginning. The three is all about communication. Okay. So the love is coming. Absolutely. Absolutely. Once you're able to open up and see that it's there before you, uh, that, th that the, <laughs> the SOS signs, the flares are there up in the sky for you, you'll be able to see them. You'll be able to see them. Y you can't see them because you're not looking. Okay, let's see what's external. so much balance over here <clears throat> this person this person has weighed whether or not to give up they have absolutely weighed the option and whether or not to give up. They have been to hell and back as well. Because of whomever uh, that sneaky person was, they, they, they too have been, I mean, you two have almost been absolutely torn apart by some type of infiltrator. Yes, that's what I feel. And this person has been uh, to the end there as well. Um, but they have this divine guidance as much as you do. You, like I said, you have that seed of, you still have that seed of hope because you have the star there. You still have it. 
<clears throat> I don't see that you've completely given up either, you know. But this person, they've had this uh, divine guidance kind of like leading the way, you know. Um, I, I just, like, I, I have to say, I just feel like whatever has been going on here in this situation, something has tried to tear you two apart. And I feel like whatever it is has not fully been successful. Whether that's a family relationship, siblings, or whomever you call your soul tribe, friends, romantic partner, marriage, long-term relationship, whatever it is, it's a deep thing. Um, friendship, whatever it might be. Um, this is meant to go on and on forever and ever and ever. And I feel like whatever's been trying to disrupt this even in times of separation, it cannot break the strength of the thread that holds the two of you together. It's pretty profound. Because what's meant to be will always be, and nothing can break that up. It's just the way it is. And if it's not meant to be, it's easy, it's easy for it to not last. It, it's just divine, divinely orchestrated, this connection from the beginning until the end i mean when do you guys finally come to, like, like nothing ever ends does it there is no ending there is no beginning it's just a constant flow of energy isn't it just a constant flow of energy hopes and fears here wow wishing wishes come true wishes being granted definitely the hopes definitely the hopes Nine is the complete circle, the circle of life, the completion. Ten is the grand finale, of course. And that's definitely on the menu, for sure. But nine is the full circle. Hoping to come full circle together. And I feel like it's going to be more than full circle. I do feel like hoping that you two are going to come back around together. That's the hope that you guys will come back around to each other. Yes, and I feel like you will. But I do feel like the overall message here is to not give up hope. And I don't like to just say that phrase lightly because remember, it's a general message. And not every message is going to be for you, okay? I feel like hope should be applied very delicately and very carefully. Just like the dosing of medicine. <laughs> and it's unique to everybody. Of course, I do see there is a fear that there isn't going to be any hope left, but you started off with hope here. So let's see the outcome, overall outcome for this. This is a very interesting reading. I must say it's, it's quite quirky and strange. You have the Knight of Wands. That's all passion. All passion. All night, all night passion. All night passion gets me through the day. <laughs> That's a song. Hey. All right, let me see. Wow. Okay. There you go. That's your message. Talk to you later. We have Sagittarius and Taurus. Running back into each other's arms in the field of dreams. I mean, you can't get better than that, right? I just really feel like the message here is, you know, I mean, it's not the Titanic outcome. I'll tell you that, although some people did survive. I will say, though, that um, just don't give up. That's what I feel like the message is here. Just don't give up hope. Trust your intuition. Trust that little seed of hope that you have. Hold on to that.
If you know something to be true in your heart and you know something to be right, fully right, no matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone tells you, you have to trust yourself first, like always. You can have people come in with PhDs, you get people on YouTube saying this, that, and the other. You have to discern and trust yourself. Because people can be misleading and they can send you down the wrong path or they can project their own junk onto you. You know, you have to be very careful with who you listen to. And I'll even say that about me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I always try to tell people, you know, no one person person should be leading your life. That's up to you to make your decisions, right? And no one should be telling you how to, how to live your life or what you should be doing, ever. Take what fits, leave the rest, and make your own decisions. But if you feel deep in your heart that you know that there's someone that you can just feel down to your bones uh, like the way a the way a twin feels when they're miss when they're missing their other twin you know that energy you know and i'm not talking about codependency and i'm not talking about um all that other stuff i'm, I'm talking about that i don't even know how to explain it you know it, but it is a thing and you know what I'm talking about when you feel it you know it and it doesn't it's rare and it doesn't happen to everybody but those people find each other in life and if this is your story whoever separated you or whoever came in and did that horrible thing you two will find each other again will it be in October? maybe but I do feel like that energy, I feel like just, you know what, keep looking up, keep looking up. And, and whether that's actually looking up or whether that's symbolically looking up, the smoke signals are coming to you. They're coming at you. Whether that's a phone call or you actually see some signs up there in the sky or wherever you get signs on the ground or symbolic or you see a bird that you've never seen before, you know, and when we throw the charms in and things like that. And let me throw a charm in and see. Maybe this will be one of your signs or a few of your signs coming in here. Okay. I've got a couple of things I'm going to show you. I'm not going to go too deep into this reading. So for some of you, it might be Mickey Mouse or Disneyland or a heart, a key with a heart on it. That might be a sign. Okay. For others of you, it might be a song or music or a ringtone, musical note or a chime or a, um, something along those lines, a certain song that you hear. It's a sign. For some of you, it might be a pink star. You see a pink star somewhere. Or a salmon star. Salmon colored peach. Pink star. Could be a bar of soap. Shaped like a star. These are some signs. Some of you, it might be a dove with an olive branch, which represents peace. It's a very spiritual reading. I'm just going to say that. For some of you, there might be a sunflower you see. For some of you, you might see the phrase or the words, love me. Or you might be here, do you still love me? Or do you love me? Could be a song. The words from a song, lyrics, love me. You'll see them anywhere. Let me give you a few more. Sign, sign, everywhere, sign. Okay. I love the charms. All right. We got a kitty cat. Your cat might come up to you. 
just out of the blue. Do something odd. If you're used to having your cat come up to you, this might be something odd that your cat does. If not, you just might have a cat come up to you out of the blue or see a stray cat that comes up to you. And for some of you, you might see a crown in an odd place or you just see a bunch of crowns, crowns, royal crown, princess crown, prince, king's crown, queen's crown. I'm giving you signs. Bike. You might see a bike. Now I know bikes aren't odd. Sometimes it, it depends where you are. If you see a bike, I feel like with this, if you see a bike in a very odd place, like for example, you get in an elevator and there's a bike in there and nobody's in there, that's a sign, for example. Okay, we've got a cross. Now it's not odd to see a cross, but if you're walking down the street and you just see a cross on the pavement, usually you'll see a cross on a church or you'll see a cross hanging around someone's neck or in a store, like a piece of jewelry. But if you see it like in the grass or something, that's a sign. Signs and symbols usually come in like very odd, odd places. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that reading there for you. That was a very spiritual message. I'm not even sure how I'm going to title it. I'll probably keep it very simple so that I don't spook you <laughs> and lead it into, uh, to lead it into this. But uh, yeah, um, hope you enjoy that. You know, every once in a while, something strange comes up and it's never the same, is it? Sometimes we'll have three or four days when the readings just kind of go into the next episode of the same thing. And other times it's just completely off the cuff and completely different. And you know, that's how it works. It's, it's never scripted. If it's the same exact thing every single day, what fun is it? It's always going to be something new and Whatever the message comes in, that's what we're picking up, right? So again, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. Don't forget to, please do donate to the, uh, help me rescue and find the missing children, missing and exploited children. And you can also donate to the Our Rescue uh, mission fundraiser here on the channel. You can buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you to everyone who's been purchasing coffees for me. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, there's so many goodies. Just go below, click my link tree. That will take you to my OnlyFans and my web socials, all that stuff. All right, you guys. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye.